Let's try it again. Okay, early Walrus Tusk will take that. Lump of Coal will take that. Um, Wooden Buckler, I'll also take you. Let's get some space, those two. All right, this should be pretty decent. We're getting double combination here, which isn't bad. We can also just sell the Clover now just to get a Garlic. Might help us out a little bit. Get us more items inside of the shop and everything like that. I think we lose this though. Unless uh, Wooden Buckler can just be overpowered here versus the double wooden swords and make them just do no damage to us potentially it's tied right now out of stamina let's go massive w right there um let's go with banana and space roll we need you you we'll just get those two we'll just get those two and try to um get as many options inside of the shop as possible for that health potion along for the gloves of haste um, Spike Shoot should be able to help us out a lot here. We have pretty much the exact same amount of healing. Um, except him having that health potion, which hopefully, yeah, he uses it now. Spike Shoots, come on, let's go! W for Spike Shoots. Um, yeah, Walrus Tusk, Blueberry Early, nice fanny pack, roll. Um, uh, yeah, let's get a second one. I think that would be nice. And then we could do something like this make that 10 percent. honestly just make yeah make both of those 10 percent faster i would we'll just put that there and then this is on sale which is really good so so far so good versus a double sword build with double whetstone pretty damn dangerous but we do out heal him um and then we also have four spikes so we pretty much just win for the most part take that let's buy you you roll uh, getting a, another banana would be good here, I think. Along with a lump of coal would be good too. So I'm gonna buy that. And then that guy's on sale, which I want. I don't know if I'll have any spots to actually put him anywhere though. Unfortunately. But I will eventually summon buy you. And then we will reserve the other lump of coal. And then we also need space now. So definitely need to just get the space. Um, going in, wow, bow and arrow, torch with hero sword, double banana for the stamina. We might actually lose against this guy because of that, uh, because of the DPS he has. Never mind. I guess the DPS kind of just didn't matter. Okay, there's our gloves of haste. Uh, what is that, 8, 9, 10? We're not going to be able to roll, but at least we have the gloves of haste now, which is good. Let's see if we can potentially, um, minimax these bananas. To get the most amount of banana banana edge, if that's a word, as possible. That one down there. Okay, so boom, boom. We need a little bit more space. I'm pretty sure, unless I just make this sideways. And then, okay, so boom, 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 boom. And then that could just be on the side. And then this guy can go like that with a Gloves of Haste on him. And then we'll just have a Lump of Coal on the Spike Shields. All right, I think that's great. Okay. I think that's great. Not that fast. All right, going against a Spike Shield Poison Bill, it looks like it. Spike Shield is going to be kind of dangerous. Very dangerous, actually. I don't think we win this one because of Poison. We don't really have uh, a lot of DPS. Even though we have double Spike Shields, I mean, it's kind of close still, though considering up oh, there we go okay nice early game health potion let's go ahead and turn you into a mana potion can we get another walrus tusk that's realistically what we need now definitely going to reserve the pineapple we might as well get space as well ah man banana on sale i don't think i want it though i do want the lump of coal for sure we just need uh we just need thorns now or um we just need a walrus tusk get that claws of attack would be great very very great i say we lose this one though because i mean he's getting bloodthorn right now it's kind of even um damn three literally just had three health on him would have taken him but boom there we go now we can move you out the ways and let's get space don't really have anything to sell to get that guy so we're just gonna roll here another blueberry i'll take it um we can move everything down by one in order to fit you in there. Use that to make it 20% faster. Or actually, let's go right there, actually. Um, and then use that to make it 20% faster. 
Or what we could maybe do is this. Yeah, I think that works better. And then we'll just put a bunch of food on this side uh, for the for the pineapple. The faster the pineapple, the better off we are, I'm pretty sure. And that's probably the best we could do. So it's what, 50% faster right now? Which is pretty damn good. So we got a lot of thorns. We just got to figure out a way to turn that thorns into into something else, which is probably going to be poison. That's more than likely what we're going to go for here is going to go for the poison build, honestly. Um, but we're going against it looks like an Excalibur. Pretty damn dangerous. Um, hopefully thorns can really help us out here with dealing that 13 damage per, which looks like it can. I'll take that W. Thank you. Now we have the magic torch. Let's get that. Um, we're going to need the blueberries. Getting a mana potion would be nice. But we also need to get Walrus Tusk ASAP. So I don't think I'm going to get the health potion here. Okay, there we go. Nice. I'm glad I didn't get the health potion because we wouldn't have uh, had ma money for the, uh, the Walrus Tusk there. I'm just going to put this on the field even though I'm not going to try to minimax it in any way. I still think that'll be fine. Um, we just need the blueberry to be as fast as possible. I could put it here. So it's got four food on it, which is pretty much what I want. But that also means the pineapple isn't as fast, which is okay, I suppose. It's not ideal, but it's okay. Okay, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Um, let's roll here for space. Got it. Nice. Um, and I'll also get another gloves of haste just for another uh claws of attack, which might not be too bad. Even if we lose here, I'm still satisfied because at least we can get our build going. Um, but going against Fortuna's Grace with a hero sword, pretty damn dangerous, along with the dagger. But the main thing is probably gonna be that pandanomium because of the poison that he's not putting on us for some reason and we have 14 on him never mind i think we win this more than likely just because of poison wow okay i'll take it i didn't think my build was this strong but shit. thank you sir Ooh, a blood amulet on sale means a vampiric gloves for us or we go claws of attack. I say we go vampiric gloves. Like it's literally right in our face. Why not? What is that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, now it's nine, 13. Oh, and we have the perfect amount of money to do it too. We just have to, you know what I mean? We just have to, um, let's move it like that. And then I'd be a little bit better. Probably going to still edit that <laughs> more than likely. Um, that works pretty much unless I want to move this up by one. And then do that. That would probably be slightly better. Unless I move it over here. That way I can still fit my uh, garlic in there. Still getting the DPS, getting the speed. Everything's looking good. Blueberries is maxed out. Um, if I can get me a second blueberry or even a mana, okay. a mana, what you call it, that'd be great. Oh, I should have moved the burning coal to feed the lump of coals. That was my bad. Hopefully we can still take this W though. The fact that I'm, well, I was equaling out with poison, but I'm surprised we take this W. I'm surprised we're winning right now, but boom, there goes our vampire gloves looking juicy. Um, should we get space? Nah, let's pass on space. I will get me a blueberry. Getting that is interesting. A walrus tusk is interesting just because we get another gloves of haste. I say we take that. I'm not going to get the flute, actually. Um, I'm not going to get acorn collar. We're not critting. Book of life would be a massive W. How much did we get? 13. Okay. I say we just stick with this. Blueberry up. Um, and then we can just switch this out like that. Get more burning coals on the play. Always a nice idea because I would like to have that gain too to make it faster. That's the whole like, that's the whole purpose of it, realistically. That's the whole purpose. Okay. All right, I'm gonna make this a little bit slower because I'm gonna watch everything. So we're going against Piercing Arrow, a little bit of a critical build. He's got Long Sword uh, with a Burning Torch along with Ruby Elf, and then Double Gloves of Haste. 
Um, however, we're going to be building up that poison along with having that spikes on us in our magic torch. Plus the claws of attack is going to be gaining that DPS and then also getting the empowerment. Um, we should be able to just out DPS them. Hell yeah. Thank you. Boom. Everything's going to be a lot faster now. Um, and we got another pineapple. We pretty much need four items here. I say we get the book of life because that's just going to be good for survivability. And we can also get a little bit of space here. Let's put the book of life there. And all of this is just going to go inside of empty slots to make things faster. Um, I wish I could put this in an empty slot, but we just don't have an empty slot to do that for unless we just put the walrus dust down. I mean, we only gain one spikes because of it. It takes up two slots, so we could put that down in order to put this up. We can even try to put the claws of attack inside of uh, some fanny packs. Um, we're going to put both of them inside of a fanny pack instead of the uh, instead of the ranger's sack. Because we're real realistically, we're not using the ranger sack for what it's meant to be used for, right? So it's kind of just pointless since we're not going crit. If we were going crit, it'd be a way, 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 way different story. Um, this actually needs to be over here. Like that. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. Make that faster. Um... Yeah, and then we could just use this for space for a bunch of random items. To make all of our food and weapons faster with DPS. I think that is great. I think that is great. Okay. Going against looks like a massive poison build. He's also got uh He's also got a hungry blade with vampire gloves of his own. Let's see how we par against this guy. So we got an eight poison on us, but his poison does increase actually because he has the pandanomium um i don't know how we just cleansed poison there but somehow some way we cleansed poison there i'm assuming because of this guy the five percent chance to resist debuffs which we should probably max that out going against other poison builds but it seems like we're more than likely going to be able to be taking this w here 15 to 13 13 you know what i mean it just keeps increasing with damage plus vampiric gloves having that vampirism helping us out with survivability always a w getting this on sale is nice we need space though so i know i want to buy this i should probably buy this for space though and that's 12. we'll have enough money um so yeah let's get this this and that and then we'll reserve this for next round for sure because we definitely need to get that the question is where are we putting the pineapple we could put it up there up here at least it'll have some form of like increased in uh dps while being up here which is good and that can go there all right i think that's great i don't even do we even generate enough mana for our book of life that's a question i haven't asked this one's gonna be a little bit difficult to beat. he's gonna have survivability like crazy he's gonna have like 150 resistance once we get him down to half health uh, which is going to be a pain and then we also got to worry about critical as well and he's dealing a nice amount of damage to us already even though he's not creating which is pretty scary and i don't think we're going to be generating enough dps in order to kill him at all i still think we did pretty good though i still think we did pretty good good game my friend very good game very good game we need more mana generation for the book of life i think that's where we're at right now so let's buy that. Um, okay, so we got the mana orb, which is good. Now we just need space. Got another blueberry, which might be okay. Honestly, if we can get a mana potion, which can be pretty solid. We need space, though. I need to put this mana orb somewhere. Mana orb here is good. That can go there. Um, so now we're going to get mana generation, which is good. We're not going to be worried about mana. Hopefully the book of life can come into clutch as well. And I'm actually going to buy this. Move that like that in order for that to turn. Okay. Okay. And I'll buy this for space. 
and I'll just buy both. I'll just buy everything there. I think that's good. Hopefully we can get a stone skin potion because um, that'll help us out with survivability as well. Okay, so hopefully with the mana orb here, we'll be able to generate enough mana in order to use the book of life. That's the plan. That's the plan, which looks like we're going to be able to. We're still not generating it extremely fast, but we also don't want to generate extremely fast because it'll activate at the beginning of the game, which is something we don't want to happen. Um, but boom, there goes it procs. Now we can survive a little bit longer and everything is just going to keep uh, increasing. The thorns is going to keep increasing. Poison is going to keep increasing. The DPS our weapons are doing is going to keep increasing. So it's an infinitely scaling build for the most part. So I'll take that W. Um, boom, let's go ahead and get this potion belt health potion with the blueberries if we get a little bit more space i'll be happy with that okay there's a stone skin potion which is good that helps with survivability if that's the case then we can go ahead and turn you into a mana potion i kind of want to get this box of riches on the play honestly um but i want you outside okay selling the spike shields might be smart they only give us six and the prevention of four damage really isn't all that great we're also not using them for activation so having this here is pretty much saying i have three spikes and that's pretty much it but i mean we're getting that from the double pineapples anyways we could sell this for what four gold each get the stone skins and that might win us the next game honestly i say that's what we do so we'll sell this get that and we can also roll a little bit we have space now so we don't need the stamina sack anymore so let's roll fanny pack is nice let's get a stone you never know we might be able to turn into a stone skin potion you know since we already got one stone it is definitely worth the shot in my opinion um we could even just go ahead and uh move this down and get ourselves a little bit of a potion situation going here And this can go there. No, I actually need that for the upgrade of the potion. So that can't go there. There we go. All right, that's looking solid. That's looking solid. Okay. I see how we do versus card. I see a lot of these cards builds with Bloodthorn because they get a lot of regeneration from using the cards. Um, and then having card build plus the ruby chunk is also extremely strong. So this is probably going to be a really strong build. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to come out on top here. Not sure. Potions proccing now. There goes our in invincibility. He's also got invincibility. These are doing 9, 10 damage per invincibility gone. And it's pretty much just going to come down to who has the higher DPS, which is probably going to be him, honestly. If we had another book of life here, I'd be happy, but it doesn't seem like we're going to get one. And he's also got that, uh, the heat as well. Good game though. I'll take that. Oh, that's okay. Good game. Boom. So now we got mana potion. That's going to insta proc now. Let's get another lump of coal. Getting the flawed sapphire might not be too bad of a play. We also got another, uh, another pineapple that I would love to get. If I can get me some more space, that would be beautiful. Unless I just put this... Well, I could put it here. I mean, might not be too bad putting it there. To be honest. Do I need garlics anymore? I feel like I kind of just don't need garlics anymore. I'm going to sell this garlic. I don't need garlics anymore. They were good for, like, health and stuff, but I just don't need them anymore. Unless I wanted them for the poison ivy, which, in hindsight, might, might have been a good idea. Um, <laughs> We can sell this one, too um okay so i want to try to fill this up at least a little bit so i can do this that might be the better way of filling this up yeah so let's move that there this pineapple can go there and this pineapple can go there and then we can make both of those 10 percent faster by doing that okay so now that's pretty much almost all the way filled up Unless we just want to put that there instead, which still works. But these aren't 10% faster, especially this one. Except for the fanny pack, but I think that's a little bit better, though. 
as far as the build goals. We could put that there for speed on the, uh, what you call it, and that pretty much works for us. All right, let's see how this build goes. Versus quad, or not quad, but triple Fortuna's Grace. Pretty damn crazy with a Hero Sword and a Ripshaw Blade. Our Pierce pretty much doesn't matter because it's not going to be a thing. Insta procking our shield and getting decimated. Oh my gosh. I don't know what build this guy has, but it is scary good. Wow, I've never died that fast. A day of my life. We got freaking rolled. Uh, it's okay though. It's okay though. It's cool. It's cool. I'm cool about it. Um. Oh, should we get the Dijon lamp? We don't get um. Yeah, we don't. We don't get the clovers though. Use it for the regeneration, I guess. Or even the mana orb generation. Generation of the mana orb, maybe. Um. Or we can go uh, another pineapple. This can also be kind of nice. I do want another book of life though. And this is our last life. We don't even have enough money to get a book of life. So I think that's kind of out of the question. Let's go Dejan Lamp. I think that would probably be best for here. Um, And we'll also go that. Make that a little bit faster. Stone skin potion could be nice too. Okay, let's just move everything up here. DJ Lamp can go there for. I mean, if it, if it procs, which I doubt it will, because we're not gonna have the resistance for it to proc. I mean, but you know, you never know. If it procs, it'll proc there. Honestly, you use it for mana. I think that might be better. Yeah, that's definitely better. Um, and then we can. Move that there. And then move that there. It's probably the better play. And this can pretty much go anywhere we want. Oh crap, that's not getting an activation. Uh, okay, we'll keep it there. All right. Okay, okay. Win this one. Holy crap. Poison build with two dark, what you call it, and double uh, book of life with double mana. Or this is not looking like a build that uh, <laughs> we're going to beat. But you never know, I guess. You never know. You never know. He's destroying us so far, though. But you never know. 19 poison on him. Book of life still keeping us alive. He's doing crits to us and everything. But hey, look, look. We're tied. We're winning. We're winning. We're winning? I can't believe we won. <laughs> I'll take it though. Hell yeah. Um, let's put these up here so we can get ourselves a stone skin potion. That'll help us out a lot with surviving, which is a problem we're having nowadays. Um, we can also just get a protective purse for the sake of getting a protect. Should we get cap of resilience? Let's get cap of resilience. That three seconds is survivability, right? That's all we care about right now is surviving. And that helps us out with survivability. So I say that is a good play. I really need a second book of life though. We're generating enough mana, I believe, to activate a book of life twice. So I need that. This is gonna be a hard build to beat. 132 at the start of the game. It's got mana thirst along with the crit wood staff. I don't know why he went piercing arrow if he's got crit wood. I mean, you're gonna always crit, right? So not really sure why he did that. Interesting, but we're getting shitted on as far as getting damage on us goes. Holy moly. Yeah, we definitely lose this. Definitely lose this. It was a fun build, though. Maybe going closet attack might not have been the strongest, but uh, in my opinion, it's still pretty damn strong. Not the strongest, but still pretty damn strong. If we would have been able to get some form of resistance going, like maybe a vampire armor, for example, um getting a proc on either one of these would have been really good because we get 16 spikes we have the luck i can't believe we generated that much luck just from one degen um and then we also have the mana all we needed was the resistance get that prop we might have been able to out dps this guy especially since we survived this long versus double vampiric armor with a mana thirst and a crit wood staff is pretty nice
in my opinion, pretty damn nice. Good game, though.